Hello, welcome to QUTV Sports on GLVC Sports Network. I'm Tony Lundy. With me, Parker Lim Limenstall is a member of the QU bowling team. He joins me now to talk about his experiences. Hello, Parker. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Tony. Overall, how much would you describe the first season with the QU men's bowling team? I would describe it as a very good atmosphere for getting us first, our first season off. As you know, being a part of the team, that this is our first year as the men's team, and I felt like it was a good atmosphere to start developing the program and all of us getting to know each other, knowing our little quirks and all that, and knowing how we can handle ourselves on the lane. Personally, uh, how would you say, or what would you say is your favorite memory? My favorite memory um, would have to be the first drive up to um, our first tournament, I think in Wich for Wichita. Right. And that was because you guys had to school me on music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> so because of that, it was just a fun little atmosphere, and I got to know you guys inside and out, and I got to know your, you guys' personality, and that's what made that time special. Yeah, that was a fun trip. Yeah, it was. Uh, what goals do you hope to achieve over your four years of being on the team? So obviously to shoot a 300 right. at some point or another, but obviously to go as close to the national championship as we possibly can, if that's possible, which I think with our group of guys, if we get a few more guys, we can definitely do that. We just need to develop more, and I'm looking forward to that. What, what do you think we could look forward to for next season? For next season, seeing uh, your emergence as our true number five guy, um, the new recruits we got coming in, like Lucas, and I can't wait to meet him, and just seeing our emergence as a team and knowing we know what the patterns are and we're able to know what we need to do in order to succeed in our, at our spare shooting mainly right. and our first ball so we can get those easy spares. Now, what made you decide to become a bowler in general? My parents. My parents practically pushed me to be in bowling because I was very antisocial when I was young. So at the age of five, my parents were like, okay, this is the sport we do, so you're going to have to do this sport. That makes sense. Uh, what brought you to Quincy? So a lot of things, actually. Um, the main thing is that my father and grandfather are originally from Quincy, so I have that heritage here. And because of that history, we have friends and family out here that can make a little support system for me. So if I have, like, let's say my car breaks down or something of the sorts, I can get them on the phone and they can come out and help me. Um, one of them's even an alum here, and it, she knows how this area is, and I also know the area very well since I've been coming here since I was a little kid. That's perfect. Um, Who is your biggest inspiration? I would say my grandfather, Ali Limenstall, and he just, the way he just went about life and just never giving up and just kind of pushing me to be the best I possibly can along with my father, Roger, they have both inspired me to be the best I possibly can no matter what it is. That's awesome. Who is your favorite bowler ever and why? Ever? So I'm relatively newer to the bowling scene when it comes to the pro scene, but I'm going to say A.J. Johnson. Okay. And that's because he bowls at my local bowling alley, Parkside Lanes, and I've gotten to meet A.J. because he bowls on Wednesdays with my father. So A.J.'s been a great guy, and I'm happy I met him. Now, bowling's very difficult, so could you explain like some factors that key into why bowling is such a hard sport? So, bowling's a hard sport for many different reasons, as you well know, right. and um, mainly it comes down to our hand position with the ball. We don't want to either break our wrist too much when we're throwing a ball, or, and we don't want to top the ball and kill at any of its rotation. Right. But it also comes down to the oil pattern, as basic as it may be, how long or small or short it is. So that comes into a factor because it changes what type of ball you can use or how you have to shoot at the, at the pocket to get a strike. Overall, very strategic. <laughs> uh, do you see yourself continuing with bowling like throughout the rest of your life? Oh, oh absolutely. It's been something that my family's been doing for generations, and I feel like I'm going to continue that. That's awesome. Thank you, Parker, for being here. Thank you for having me, Tony. And thank you for watching for QUTV and the GLV Sports Network. I'm Tony Lundy. Find us on social media and QUmedia.net. Have a great day. I think that went awesome.